It is, in fact, corn. Today on Cafe with Q, for the first episode of season three, we will be focusing on making a corn latte for a new segment I'm calling Will It Latte? And we'll be taking a unique ingredient, fusing it with coffee, and seeing how it will, in fact, latte. Let's get to it. Corn has the juice, and I want the juice from the can. And the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna take our can of corn and go ahead and strain that through a fine mess strainer, separating the kernels and the juice. And use that corn juice, mix it with a little bit of sugar and bring that up to a simmer for a couple of minutes until it is reduced down. Corn and milk are friends, you gotta make a corn infused milk. Corn, honey, and butter all go into my Vitamix here. I had just enough milk to cover and then we're going to go ahead and blend that on high uh, until we almost have have a very silky corn milk and then we're going to strain that through our fine mesh strainer to have a very lavish corn milk. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and blend our kettle corns. Uh, I just want it as a garnish, but I think this is going to really help sell the corn aspect of the latte. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop some of that in the blender, throw it up on high, and get a little bit of a popcorn dust, if you will. It's time to go ahead and pull our espresso shot. Steam our corn milk. It's starting to smell really delicious and very fragrant. The corn is really coming through and I'm starting to get super excited for the end result. Now, with all of our components assembled in full, it's time to build our latte. So our house-made corn syrup goes into the bottom of our mug, followed by our espresso. Give it a little stir to make sure it's nice and incorporated together. Pour our corn milk like so. Try to pour a little bit of latte art, but the latte milk doesn't want to work with me and that's okay. Sometimes with these infused milks, um, you don't really get latte art like you would with traditional milk. And then I go ahead and drizzle a little bit of honey over the top and around the latte. I think that's going to add some nice sweetness. And then lastly, I garnish with a little bit of the popcorn dust on top. Overall, I'm super happy with the way this beverage looks. I mean, you know, latte foam uh, could have been a little bit tighter, but as I said, sometimes infused milks can behave a bit strangely. And I'm really digging the look of the popcorn dust. And so that is the corn latte. And this is the part of the show where I taste it. And now I give a final grade and maybe even you know a few highlights as to why it did or did not live up to expectations. So it's a pretty, pretty latte if I do say so myself. Aesthetically, I would definitely serve it, you know, in a cafe. It has a little bit of that appeal, nice garnish on top. Smell passing, you know, smells mostly like coffee with a hint. The popcorn is a bit overwhelming. Taste. It's very corny. It's like way, way more corny than I was expecting. I mean, corn, milk, they're friends, right? They go together, cream corn, sweet corn, corn pudding, all that good stuff. The coffee actually gets kind of lost. I'm going back in for a second sip, so that's like a promising sign, right? C minus. Anybody ever watch Chernobyl? There's that guy, he's like, you know, not great, not terrible. That's this latte. Like, would I be happy to serve it or to enjoy it? No. If somebody paid me a small sum of money, could I drink this whole thing? Absolutely. Couple bucks, two, three bucks. Yeah, it's a C minus. It's not great, not terrible. Fun to make, it's corn. This is Cafe with Q, will it latte? Corn will in fact latte. Till next time. Subscribe, like, and comment what you would like to see next on Cafe with Q.